Martin, thank you. We continue to follow that developing story out of Collinsville, Illinois this morning. That massive fire, the house fire that started earlier this morning. We've been covering this breaking news all morning. Fox 2's Chris Renier now live on the scene with more information. Chris. Randy, good morning once again to you. We are on Timberlake Drive here just outside of the city limits of Collinsville near Lebanon Road. Many fire crews still on the scene here continuing to put fire or put water on this fire. Check it out behind us here. This is the home that is simply a total loss from this intense fire earlier this morning. This fire breaking out about 730 or so this morning. Crews from multiple departments responding to the scene here. As you can see, they are still putting water on it as we speak. We can show you some video earlier from Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox when the flames were just raging here, this fire quickly going to two alarms, seven different departments responding here, including the Collinsville Fire Department. And as you look at that video, I want to bring in John Bailey. He is the chief of the Collinsville Fire Department. Chief, thanks again for joining us. When you all get on scene here, you were telling me earlier this fire was raging when you got here. Speak to that for me, if you will. Yeah, it was a very uh, an intense fire. So we had a lot of fire in the back of the building, plus up into the attic space and heavy dark smoke up in there. The search when you got here, you said you put people into the home because you had cars here. You're worried there might have been people here. We had a neighbor banging on the door. There's a there's a couple who who lives here. We know that much, right? But you've since been able to find out some good news. Nobody hurt. Nobody in that home. That's right. So our our. Our practice is always to search a home to make sure that we don't have any people inside. That's a, that's the first priority. So even though the fire was intense, we had some firefighters trying to pull that fire back while we had firefighters crawling through the building just to look to see if we had anybody. We had to pull them out because the fire got so intense we couldn't have our firefighters and there was a safety issue for them. And then afterwards we found out that the, uh, the residents are actually in Florida. So it is good news, very good news. So this morning, all of us who've been out this morning have felt these winds intense winds, really driving winds throughout the area. Can you speak to fighting this fire with this kind of, of wind going on, these wind-driven fires? This makes this even more challenging, right? How, how tough was this to fight when you're fighting not only fire, but the wind as well? Yeah, so wind-driven fires, we've heard about those in the news for years. When you have a wind-driven fire, it just intensifies that fire. So that's what we ran into here. We had a fully involved backside of the house. We had fire up in the attic, and then the wind just kept pushing it and pushing it and intensifying that fire. We needed additional resources to help control that fire because of the wind. You were saying that was one of the reasons you went to a second alarm, called in these different departments. Were you able to contain it? to just this one home, is there anything else damaged here? No, fortunately it's just this one home. Uh, we're in an area that's, uh, I wouldn't really call remote, but it's, uh, they've got very large yards, so we didn't have another house that was right near it. It's a good thing, because this fire was intense enough that if there was another house that was really close to it, we probably would have had that fire, that house on fire, or certainly we'd have to put crews to keep the fire from getting to that house. And what about a cause at this point? I know it's earlier still putting water on the fire. We can see the home with a total loss. Do we know what may have started this fire? Is there anything suspicious at this point? What do we know there? We know nothing about it at this point. We are, we'll do an investigation like we do with every fire. Um, but uh, with, with a fire of this significance, it's gonna be a while before we come up with a cause, even if we can, um, but it'll be a while. Chief John Babel with the Collinsville Fire Department joining us. John, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. All right, thank you. Absolutely. So the good news, Randy, is nobody hurt. There was a house sitter here, we understand, over the weekend. But again, the homeowners, they are away in Florida. Certainly tragic news for them. But again, the good news here is, is nobody injured in this intense fire. As you can see, the house here just gutted. A total loss. You can see from our Bomberino Automotive Group Sky Fox video just how intense this fire was seven different departments here, including Collinsville, as they continue to remain on the scene here, making sure this fire is completely out. The wind, certainly an issue for fire crews here this morning. For now, live near Collinsville, Chris Renier, Fox 2 News.